Hello, this is Alex from SignalsAudio.com, and I'm going to show you how to route naked drums inside the Reaper DAW. All right, so let's load contact, first of all. Um, load your 64 out contact, four or five. If you're using contact four, it has to be fully updated. Otherwise, you might have problems uh, loading naked drums. So uh, load up the naked drum shells. Click uh, yes if you're replacing the multi. Um, if you can't find the files because you moved them recently or whatnot, just uh, if you're on a Mac, you can hit search spotlight or you can browse for the files manually inside the sample folder. Just hit search spotlight and load them up for us. Um, okay, so this is our shells. And then make another track called symbols. And then load contact as well in this one. And in this one, load. Um, the symbols and cam for naked drums. Okay, same thing. All right, now we need to add more outputs to these. See, it only has like a stereo out routing right now. We need a lot more um, channels than that to route it out to our DAW. So just keep hitting plus until you get to the aux channels, and that's that's enough outputs. Um, same thing with the shells. You have to click this uh, out button here. Add a bunch of outputs. All right, that should be enough. And now we can um, add another track, which we'll call MIDI. And this will be the track we program on. And we'll have it go to um, click IO, drag it down, click audio none, and you'll get this MIDI button lighting up. Then just go. Um, Actually, no, that should be fine that way. Should be fine with the default send. Same thing for both these tracks, and now this MIDI will send out to uh, both of these channels, which will go to both these contact instruments. That way you don't have to have two MIDIs across the two channels or anything like that to control it. Um, anyways, let's start uh, routing. So we'll route some shells first. We have, uh, here's the outs for each of the uh, microphones. So, We'll do, just for time's sake, we'll do snare top, snare bottom, kick in, overhead, and far room. Okay, so let's throw out the shells first. So snare top is one and two, so we'll just go drag this IO button to snare top. And then one and two goes to one and two, which is what we want. Because one, 1 and 2 is the output for to your um, DAWs master, basically. And this is the one coming from contact, like that one is that. Is that. Okay, so we did snare top. Now we're going to do snare bottom, which is uh, 3 and 4. It's right there. Oops, no, sorry, it's 5 and 6. That's this. 3 and 4 is the second snare top mic. Um, so bottom is 5 and 6. And then we'll do kick in, which is seven and eight. And then we'll do overhead, which is 21 and 22. For the shells. And far room is 27 and 28. Okay. So that will route all the shells to the correct tracks. Uh, now we'll do the symbols. So have a look at these. For symbols, the overhead is one and two. So overhead, one and two, one and two, that's correct. And then far room for the symbols is seven and eight. So let's change this to seven and eight. There we go. And when we program things, drum pattern there perfect it's gonna be a hit for sure okay so we should only hear the snare top play when the snare hits snare bottom there's both those here's the kick mic 
overheads for everything. Far rooms for everything. So essentially that's everything you need to know and you would just route the rest of these uh, microphones to corresponding tracks. So you have your mid-side um, rooms, you have your close room mic, the far rooms with, that we routed, the wide china mics are like a wide overhead for the chinas. There's also ride and hi-hat mics as well that um, just to accentuate those if you want. And then you would just uh, process these normally with EQ or whatever you want inside your DAW and you can make some pretty killer drum tracks. All right, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,